What's going on everyone? Chase with Shineify here and today we're going to be talking about the easiest way to start landing clients for an AI marketing agency that you can get started with today even if you're a beginner. I'm going to show you my exact strategy for landing high ticket clients, people paying over $3,000 a month. I'm going to show you exactly how you can offer things for free and automate them with tools and with virtual assistants so you don't even have to do any of the fulfillment. Now, again, if you're brand new here, you've never made money online before, don't worry, you're in the right place. And if you want me to keep you updated, by the way, with all the stuff that I'm doing, just respond with the word yes in the comments right now, and I will make sure to keep giving you videos like this one, along with updates on all the stuff that I'm doing. Also, we have a brand new boot camp that I will leave in the description of this video. It is a boot camp that's six weeks long, and you can join me and a group of other people to learn how to do everything on a checklist that I'm actually building for you inside of the boot camp. And it's all step by step. So I'm going to actually pull this checklist up for you really quick just so you can see it. And this is the basis of which we actually run marketing for our clients. And this is what I recommend if you're starting out and you have no direction, you have no idea what you're doing. Now, inside of this checklist, we have over 300 different things that we check when we're doing marketing either for ourselves or for our potential leads and prospects. And these are all things that people need in their business. So we cover things like website creation, on-page SEO, setting up virtual assistants, doing keyword research, using the correct tools, automating our content creation, our scheduling, doing all the stuff we need to do to start getting leads for our business in an automated way. So again, if you want the checklist and you want to join our boot camp, make sure you go to the link in the description and go check it out right now. One last thing is if you're on the fence and you're not sure how all this stuff works, you need to talk to me or somebody on my team, make sure you go to the, the number below in the description as well. Send us a text and we can actually get on the phone with you free of charge and walk you through getting set up with all of this stuff if you're still confused after this video. Now the question is, how do I start earning over a thousand dollars a day with an AI agency? Now let me just give you a quick background on me so you know who I am. I got started eight years ago, a little over eight years ago on YouTube in when I moved into this garage after I moved out of my house when I was 23 years old. I didn't come from a lot of money. Uh, my dad died actually when I was younger. And I tell you these things because I want you to know that if you're starting out, I have been in a place where I you know, didn't have any money. I didn't have any opportunity. I didn't have anybody helping me. And I know what it's like to struggle and not know what to do. And so just to show you that I was a normal person, I dropped out of high school, worked a normal job. Um, and eventually I started making money with some of the stuff that I was able to discover. And I want to show you how I went from nothing living in a garage to ranking clients on Google like this and providing them with automated services so that we could get them to show up for things like uh, doctors in their town. We were able to rank web design companies in our town. Uh, we were able to rank iPhone repair companies. We were number one for those things. And at one point I actually was even ranking just as a joke on Google for uh, cute guys on TikTok as well as the most handsome guy on TikTok. And guess what? People pay a lot of money for services like this. This was a payment I got for $1,400. These are some other payments, $300 for actually the roadmap that I'm about to share with you, the checklist I showed you a second ago. $2,200 from this client, $2,300. And if you think about it, one client at $2,000 per month is 24 K a year. And if you can automate this five or 10 clients, right? That's a lot of money. That's already over six figures. And, and this is, this isn't just stuff I'm making up. You can see, I helped a lot of people with this. You can see William here says I was probably ranking fifth in Google maps, but once I incorporated Chase's Google map hacks, I've been seeing a significant improvement and you can go through all my different testimonials. This guy actually started a seven figure, um, agency with the uh, roadmap and all the things that I share with you and all the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So I'm not just making this stuff up. I have tons of different case studies, tons of different testimonials. And again, I've been doing this for over eight years now. So I want to show you the stuff that works and the stuff that doesn't work. And uh, this, this video isn't meant to like sell you on anything. I'm not saying, oh, you have to go join our boot camp or do any of the stuff that I'm talking about here. 
All I'm saying is that if you follow what I'm saying here and you start getting started in the right direction, I think you're going to dramatically increase your chances of being successful. But remember, nothing in life is guaranteed. I'm never going to say to you, if you do this, you're going to become a millionaire overnight, a millionaire overnight. I'm not like giving you a get rich quick scheme or any of that. I'm saying you have to put in the work, right? It took me a long time. You can see back here when I was living in the garage. Uh, you know, 2017, I wasn't making a lot of money. I was making almost nothing. And I went all the way up to making, you know, millions of dollars with what I'm going to share with you today. And just remember, whatever I tell you is going to take hard work and dedication. And I'm not guarantee you, gu guaranteeing you any results or that you're going to achieve the same results that I did. But I will say that if I point you in the right direction, I do think you're going to greatly increase your chances of being successful. So let's talk about, first of all, how to start getting leads. Now, the idea of getting leads is really you just want to provide value, okay? So whether you're getting somebody contacting you or you're contacting them, you want to provide value to these leads. How do you provide value? Well, it all starts with some sort of analysis or roadmap, okay? So that's why we do these roadmaps here. Now, what is a roadmap? A roadmap is literally just a check to see what are these people doing and what are they not doing, okay? And so I could take anybody's website anybody's online business. And I could say, okay, you know, yeah, you're doing certain things, right? You have, uh, let's say a website created, but maybe you don't have a Facebook created. Maybe you're not uh, posting enough reels. Maybe you're not posting enough stories. Maybe you don't have an Instagram community belt. Maybe you're not, uh, you know, on TikTok. And so there's all these different things that we can look for. Even on their website, we can see, okay, do you have a thank you page? Do you have a funnel built? Do you have call to actions on your website? There's all these different things that we can look for on a website or on their social media pages. And the idea is that if we can find a few things that they have wrong with their marketing, with their uh, different assets, we can reach out to them or they can reach out to us and we can look at their stuff and we can say, listen, we noticed that you're messing up in this category. Can we offer you this thing for free? Now, here's the thing. You don't want to offer too much value up front. So you want to offer just enough. And what does that mean? It means that you want to uh, give somebody something that they're going to want, right? Let's say they don't have a uh, nice a funnel or a landing page built for their um, social media pages. Let's say they don't have a, like a sales page. Well, we could quickly throw up a sales page for a, a business and I'll show you how to do it because there's templates that we can use. There's AI tools that we can use that'll do this for us. But we can throw up a simple page for them and offer it to them for free as value. Okay. And so here's the thing. When we first meet somebody, they're not going to really two of things. They're not going to have two things, right? They're not going to like or trust us yet. Why? Because they don't know who we are. And so people only buy from people who what? They like or trust. And so ideally, we want to figure out how to get people to like and trust us. And so one of the things we can do is we can use the rule of reciprocity, okay? The rule of reciprocity means that if you give something to somebody else, they will want to give something back to you, okay? And so one way to get people to like or trust you is use this rule of reciprocity. Now, how do we how do we do that? How do we how do we gain people's like or trust with reciprocity? We just find something that they want and we offer it to them. Okay. Now, obviously, we don't want to offer things that people don't want. And so one of the things you want to do is you want to be good at asking questions. Okay. And that's why inside of our roadmap, what we do is we use a client intake or a potential prospect slash lead intake form. And these are all questions, high value questions that we can ask our leads. Okay. So let's say somebody gets on the phone with us and they say, uh, yeah, I'd like to start growing my web presence. I'd start, I'd like to start getting more leads. I'd like to start making more sales. Well, we need to start asking questions. And, and this is where most people mess up, right? What they'll do is they'll get a lead and they'll just start immediately selling. They'll go, well, I have something to give you, right? I want to set up your Instagram profile. Now you never want to do this. And the reason why is because if you just start pitching them on something, they have to say yes or no. Okay. And so ideally we don't want to ask them to say yes or no until we ask them qualifying questions so we can understand what they want. What are qualifying questions? Okay. Well, what's your goal, right? And here's the thing. Most people don't know their goal. This is actually one of the funniest things I've seen when I get on the phone with people is that I'll ask somebody their goal and they'll say six minutes of different things. They'll be like, well, you know, my goal is this and then I want to do this and then I want to do this. And then I, you know, I have this other thing. I want to do this. Want... Your goal should be very simple. I want, 10 leads a day or 10, you know, sales a day for, 
this service. I want to get five people booking a call with me every day. I want to, you know, whatever the thing is, it should be very simple. And so if they don't know their goal, this is the first thing that you could offer them. You could go, well, it sounds to me like you want to get more leads for this company and you want to get more booked calls. Is that correct? Now, I always like to say, by the way, sounds like, okay. So why do I say sounds like, because I want to get an idea of what they want without telling them what they want. Okay. So a lot of people will be like, so you want more leads. You don't want to come off that way. You want to say, okay, well, it sounds like you want to get more leads for this company. Is that correct? And then they can correct you if you're wrong. Also, if you're ever um, on the phone or in person with a lead, bring out a notepad and listen, figure out what they want. When you're asking questions to them, ask your question and stop talking. The person who talks the most loses. Okay. So remember that if you ever feel like you're explaining yourself and you're going into all these details and the person's not talking, you lost, you lost the sale. Okay. So you want to get into a conversation with this person and say, Hey, you want to get more leads, right? Okay, cool. Does your uh, website uh, have any social media profiles built yet? And then they go, well, yeah, you know, we have Facebook, but the reason why we didn't do Instagram is because, you know, we lost this thing and then this happened and you want to write down and go, oh shoot, you know, they lost their marketing guy. Okay. And then when you're talking to them, keep gathering more information, say, well, you lost your marketing guy. What happened? Like, why did that happen? And so if you just keep mirroring people, they will talk for a very long time and give you a ton of information so that when it's time to pitch them on the free value thing and you say, okay, well, you know, it sounds like you lost your marketing guy. You want to get more leads for this thing and you read everything off. You can say, is that correct? And they're going to say, well, yeah, that that's spot on, right? That's what I, that's exactly what I said. And you go, cool. Well, if I put together something that made sense to, you know, help you with these different things, would you be interested in that thing? And you're offering them you're saying, you're saying, is it okay if I pitch you on this thing? And then when they say yes, you go, cool. Well, I want to do this free value thing. See if we can get some leads in here for you or get this thing first thing fixed. I also want to do this roadmap. Okay. Now you could always sell the first fix. You could always sell the roadmap. It just depends on where you're at. So if you're, you know, already talking to this lead for a day and they're already really interested, you know, you could always sell a roadmap to them. It just depends on how cold the lead is and how much they like and trust you. Okay. But here's, that's kind of just the basics to selling. Let's talk about what to actually give these people. What are the main things? So obviously the first thing is setting goals, figuring out what they want, you know, figuring out what they're looking for, but really just getting them a roadmap, getting them some sort of comprehensive analysis where you could say, listen, the roadmap checks everything. It checks you know, what keywords you need to show up for. It shows you, you know, what uh, we can different, the different pages we can create on your website. It shows us, you know, how to optimize those pages. So you're showing up in Google, like all these different things that they need. And if they say yes, the roadmap, all you're going to do is just fill out the roadmap for them. And guess what? You don't even need access to their website or anything to start doing this roadmap. Now, the first thing that we really cover in our roadmap is the keyword research. So all this other stuff is kind of just basic questions and, and requirements like recommendations. But um, the first thing we really cover is keyword research. And the way keyword research works is, by the way, I always try to make the things that are highest prior priority, the things that people usually mess up on first and the things that people need the most. Okay. So remember how I said a second ago, most people don't know their goals. Well, most people don't know their topics that they need to target either. And so what I always recommend is let's figure out what topics should we target for this client first. So if I go to shine ranker, this is our company. I built this software. Um, we can get the one day trial. It's completely optional if you guys want to use this or not, but, um, shine ranker, what it does is it uses AI to find keywords that the potential lead or prospect wants to show up for on places like Google, YouTube, TikTok, it's all omni-channel. So all we have to do is once we get a prospect is we're just going to add them as a uh, project in our dashboard. And again, we don't need access to their website to do this. So let's just find a random website here. We're going to type in iPhone repair in Santa Barbara. And this was my old company. I actually sold this company. It was like three grand at the time. I probably could have sold it a lot for a lot more, but um, you can see it's still ranking here to this day. That's pretty cool. So we're going to type in iPhone repair, Santa Barbara, and then we're going to put in the website URL. And the reason why we put in the website URL is because Shine Ranker will actually track the keywords um, that this website's actually ranking for on Google. Now, if we go to the iPhone repair 
project here and we can do as many projects as we want so we can manage as many clients as we want we can see that there's no keywords in this dashboard yet right so again if you're working with a brand new client let's say we went down to page two uh they're probably not going to have any idea what their keywords are right like th these people or you know any of these uh sites that are not ranking too well uh, they, if they're on page two, it's probably because they don't know what to show up for. They don't, they don't know what to optimize their site for. You can see this one's ranking for Santa Barbara cell phone repair. Um, but again, probably if they're on the bottom of page one or on page two, we could find some good keywords for them to start targeting. We can optimize their content, like their YouTube, their, uh, Google, everything, um, all their different social media platforms to start showing up for these different topics that they're, they might not be showing up for. So um, what I can do is if I want to figure out what this website's ranking for, all I have to do is take the URL, iPhone Repair Santa Barbara here, plug it into ShineRanker, and it'll show me all the different things that this website's showing up for. Um, actually, this is the Shine Audit. Sorry, let me go to the Traffic Checker. This actually is pretty cool too. It'll show me everything that's wrong with the website, but let me just show you this here. And again, this is just one of the many services that you can start offering. And if you don't want to use a keyword research tool, right? Let's say you don't want to pay for ShineRanker. That's totally fine. There's so many other things in here that you can start checking. But the idea is that if you're going to be using some form of AI, even if it's ChatGPT, you're probably going to be paying for some sort of tool to help you automate this stuff. Because it's going to be a lot harder to do this stuff just by hand. Like if I'm going to go to Google, the, the way to do this by hand is you just go to Google and then see the related searches. That's gonna take a really, really long time. So I'd rather use an AI tool to go and just tell me all the topics already. So look, I can see right here, this website's ranking number 68 for iPhone repairs or iPhones repair, iPad fixing. But if I sort by rank here, I can see uh, the uh, other keywords from um, top to bottom. Some of these are undefined. I don't know why it's not pulling them, but mobile screen repair Santa Barbara. It's It was ranking number seven, now it's ranking number four. So this is something that I could say, hey, you don't have a landing page for this yet. Um, if we make a different page just for this, you'll probably show up for it. So this is stuff I can already start recommending. And if I want to, I can just start tracking all these keywords here. If I check, uh, click on the check mark, click on track, go into the topic tracker here. Now I have all my keywords and I can even track all my rankings in here as well for this website without even having access to the website. What I can also do is I can click into here and I can see how difficult it is to show up for these different keywords. So if I click on update difficulty, this will show me how many people are actually competing for these different topics. And these are all things that a business owner probably isn't going to know, right? They're not going to know how hard it is to show up for these topics. They're not going to know whether or not they're showing up for these different things. And even just giving them an export of all of their rankings like this and giving them this for free is already a really cool value add that you can go and say, hey, look, this is something that we can start doing for you. OK, now, remember, this is just one of the many things, but it is one of the first things I recommend besides, you know, doing the intake, asking the questions, figuring out the goals. Now, another super high value task is just getting them a website. There are so many business owners that don't even have websites yet or they don't have good websites. They don't have optimized websites. And we can use a tool like High Level, which I will leave a link to in the description. There's a 30 day trial if you go through my link. But High Level will allow us to start doing certain things like create landing pages, create websites, do email marketing, texting marketing, all kinds of different cool things that we can do for the client that they probably don't have set up yet. And really all of this is very plug and play. So like inside a high level, I can go and click on um, one of these pre-made templates. So let's say I'm working with a chiropractor. This will give me all the stuff that I need for a chiropractor business, like the website, the funnels, even the emails. And all of this, again, is very plug and play. Now, just as an example, I'm going to go into one of the test accounts just so you can see this. So I don't have to build a new account or a sub account. But if I go into one of my already pre-made sub accounts for a, uh, let's say this was an actual client, they get all these different things like, um, again, texting, they get uh, sites, websites, funnels. And if I click on, let's say, website, new website, boom, I can type in chiropractor. And this is great too, if you don't have your own website, because like I said in the beginning, I recommend that you don't just do these roadmaps for the potential leads or the clients, but you do this for yourself as well. 
You don't want to be one of those people that's like pitching services, but you haven't done it for yourself because you want to use your own accomplishments, your own websites, everything that you do as your own business card. So you can show people, Hey, look at, this is what my website looks like. This is what your website could look like. And boom, look at this. This is already a, a, a website that I can plug and play their content, their information on. And, and all I have to do is just replace certain elements. It's already pre-built. And so I could pitch them on a free website right out of the gate. Just be like, Hey, look, we did a wireframe for you. We added your logo. We did all this stuff. You know, do you want this website? Do you want texting? Do you want emails um, to be able to send to your clients? Like the amount of stuff that we can do with AI right now is absolutely insane, right? Like everything is pre-built now. And the thing is, is that a lot of people are doing this stuff manually when they can just go in to a lot of these different tools that have already been provided, which I list out in this roadmap, right? I put all of the different tools that we use and these are all things that pretty much automate everything that you're going to need to do for a client, like building the website. And so if you're not sure about how to provide value, this is what I'd recommend. I'd recommend that you start with a template, start with a few tools that you can learn. And, and really, you just want to figure out how to learn a high value skill, right? Most people don't know how to get work because they don't know how to provide a high value skill. And so what they do is they go around and they go, well, I don't know how to make money. I don't know how to make money. And then they try to do all this random stuff. All you have to do is just learn the basics to setting up a few tools. Uh, if you learn those basics, right, you learn how to do some keyword research, you learn how to build a basic website, you learn how to do a little bit of email automation, all the stuff that we cover in this checklist and inside of our bootcamp, you are going to greatly increase your chance of being successful because now you have a skill that somebody else doesn't have, right? Most people are not going to learn how to do keyword research. Most people are not going to learn how to go and use AI to build a website. And so if you just learn these basic skills, you don't even have to be convincing. You just go offer free stuff to people and you'd be amazed how fast you can start getting clients doing that. Now, I don't want to waste your all your time because this is going to be a very long video if I were to go through all of this. That's why we have a six week boot camp. So make sure you go to the link in the description if you want to grab the boot camp. Also, send us a text. If you're confused, we're doing a new service where we are actually getting on the phone with you and texting you where you can ask us questions and we'll actually walk you through, hey, this is what we recommend. So send us a text if you're on the fence, you don't know what's going on. Or um, again, feel free to get uh, into our boot camp if you want to just grab the checklist immediately. The price does go up very frequently. So make sure you don't wait because if you wait a little bit longer, you're going to be paying more for something you could have gotten for less. And that doesn't make any sense. So again, go to the link in the description, grab the boot camp, grab the checklist and start interacting with me and a group of people. Like I said, we go live Mondays and Tuesdays in zoom. And I actually physically go on there. It's not somebody else. I go on there and I coach you in a group environment. You can ask me questions and I will help you set this stuff up. So get in the boot camp, and I'll see you there till I do happy money making. We'll see you next time. Bye.